Good morning, everybody. You guys remember this apartment that we got for like 50 bucks last night? Apparently it also comes with breakfast. I'm not sure where that would be, but we are gonna find it. Oh, key, don't wanna lock myself out. Key. Oh, breakfast, cool. There's breakfast here. Um, mm, mm, plates, yes. Grab some rolls, get cheeses. Like I could not tell you what this is, but we're gonna get a couple different slices of different stuff. Now, today would be a good day, except last night I found a tick on myself, like right underneath my arm, which is sad because that ends my lifetime streak of having never been bitten by a tick. But also it was a back-legged tick, which means it's the kind of tick that can carry Lyme disease. So I need to watch for like a bullseye pattern on my, on my armpit for the next like month or so. Fun. The batteries are fully charged and we have about three days left of writing to go. It would be like a day and a half if we had a fast charger. Oh, hello, my hello. Yes, I am checking out. Yeah, I would. Yes, fantastic, absolutely uh, fantastic. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, oh yes, of course, of course, absolutely. I am knowing Booking, yes, absolutely, thank you so much. Okay, ciao. Seriously, if you guys are in Bonn, this place is cheap, it has free breakfast, and it lets you check out at noon. You don't even need to search for it because it'll probably be one of the cheapest places you can book. They take their bike storage seriously. I'm pretty sure this is a train station. So people ride their bike to the train, they take their train and they just leave their bike here. A lot of them also just lock their bikes to like metal railings. You always gotta pedal when you see cops. I don't speak German, I'm sorry. Oh, there's construction. Yep, I see. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. These are the best streets to ride, where you're just going straight, you don't need to think about braking or turning or anything like that. You can just cruise. The miles just melt away when you're on roads like this. I gotta charge my phone again. Without having my phone holder and the battery pack that holds it, I need to constantly stop and make sure that my phone is charged. Actually, we get to do more than rest. Let me see here. Let's break this guy out for the first time. I've never actually assembled this yet. I bought it. I think I just paid like 50 bucks for it. So it would be cool if I can use it a couple times. Why is it wet? Oh God, it's very wet. Well, it'll dry off soon. It's hot outside. Did it rain without me knowing? I don't remember it raining. Oh wait, yes I do. There we go, look at that. <sighs> it's even got a little headrest thing so you can like rest your head. This is my nicest camping chair I've got so far. It's, it's pretty dope. 
No. Speaking of camping supplies that I want to use at least once, there is a stream down there and I have a water filter straw that I really want to test. Okay, we got the extendo straw. Now where's the actual filter? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go drink out of a fucking stream. It is moving. It is, you know, pretty dirty. How am I gonna get down there? I can't really reach. I don't think my extendo straw will reach. Hey, different idea. What if I just scoop up some of the water with my pot and then drink it from the pot? Okay. Fuck it, we're just gonna reach down and go, ah, pokey bushes. Fucking go away, pokes. God, oh, God damn it. They got fucking thorns in my clothes. Okay, I found some rocks I think I can step on so I can get lower into this. Okay. We are going to try that straw. Ah, oh, holy shit, my skin is burning where those plants touched me. Fucking hell. What the fuck were they? I'm having an allergic reaction. I can feel my skin, like I can see it breaking out in hives. Whatever those things are, fuck them. Okay, straw time. Let's pull the little red thing off. Let's attach the extendo straw. Okay, uh, dirty stream water drinking test one. If this doesn't work, then these straws are worthless. If I end up incapacitated, this is why. I am getting water. Um, it doesn't taste dirty. Um, yeah, honestly, it's fine. Ah, uh, dude, what the fuck are those plants? God, like you see that, right? Holy shit. Well, I'm glad I got to try it. I'm not sure how useful it'll be in the future, but glad we got to test it. Goodbye, fish water. Now, while we wait for the batteries to charge, this is a good opportunity to explain to you guys how we're able to stay connected to the internet out here in the middle of nowhere. Now, we've been to over seven countries across this trip, and you guys will notice we have never had to stop at a telecom company. We've never had to pick up a SIM card, and that's because I'm using an eSIM from Aerolo. An eSIM is an electronic SIM card. It's not physical. You download it from the internet and you're good to go. Aerolo is fantastic. They have eSIMs for over 200 different countries, and you can pick them out individually if you're going to an individual country, or you can buy them for entire regions like Africa, Asia, Europe, Latin America, North America. Let me show you how this works. If you want to go to Europe and you want to make sure that you have data, you can go to their package and they support 39 different countries. It doesn't matter which one you're in. All 39 countries cost $5. And if you use this code NANO3, you get $3 off. That means you're able to get the entire European continent for $2. This would cover you through countries from Albania, Andorra, Austria, all the way down here to Turkey, Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. They partner with local telecom companies, so you're able to get the same coverage that the locals get. If you are interested in this, I recommend spending just a little bit more money because the best deal is usually one thing down. For example, you can get one gigabyte for $5, but if you scroll down just one unit, you can get two gigabytes for $6.50. You're getting twice as much data for just $1.50 more. And then again, if you use the code NANO3, you're able to get $3 off that. So you're able to get two gigabytes for $3.50. And again, that works for 39 different countries. You can purchase this once, download it, and then you can travel wherever you want in Europe because you know that you'll be covered. If you guys are interested in this, you can scan this QR code, you can click the link in the description. If you use the code NANO3, you're able to get $3 off. Honestly, they have been fantastic, and I'm glad that they continue to sponsor my videos. And it's because of you guys, because the last time that they sponsored me, you guys purchased some SIM cards from them. They're like, oh, hey, this influencer, he's able to like bring sales our way. So the reason that they are continuing to pay me money is because of you guys, so thank you. Let's go. Germany has a bunch of castles. Oh, hey, pause. Okay, so I was just checking to see if there's any apartments here. I found one that has a washing machine, which is absolutely important because I haven't washed my clothes in a washing machine since like Vienna. Um, I've been washing them in the sink recently. 62 euros. Okay, we are heading to the washing machine. I don't think they have a dryer, but the washing machine is really the important part. Ok, 
Okay, we are somewhere over here. I hope they have self check-in. I also hope they have a place for me to put my bike that's not out on the street. We move into the shade. Uh, she messaged me and she said that the apartment is not ready yet. They said that it'll be like two hours before it's ready. So 5 p.m. Okay, well, if we gotta wait, let's go find like a park or something. It is not a park, but I did find an Aldi's. And I wonder if they have another one of those automatic pizza machines. I like automatic pizza. I'm just leaving it here. Don't want to deal with it. It's not automatic, but I'm still happy. Holy shit, look at this. So they've got bike parking, but they've got this so that you can actually charge your bike. Oh, I love Aldi. Apparently there's two different types of Aldi's. There's Aldi Sud, and there's another one that's just got like a different prefix or different suffix right here. But Aldi Sud, fantastic. E-bike charging station. I gotta remember that. If that's consistent across all these, that could be the only place that we stop going forward. Like, I've never seen Little have one of those. I really like all these because they've got this like meat pizza. It's got like sausage and pepperoni and stuff on it. It's really good. The ridiculous fucking rash on my arm from that plant seems to be going away. Uh, people on Instagram, they say it's called nettle. Fuck that plant. God damn. I'm still waiting for this guy to tell me that the apartment is ready for me. Uh, Check-in was supposed to be two hours ago, but I'm going to go wait there Ugh, because I feel like I've been just sitting in this parking lot for too long. Okay. So keys are in the letterbox. This key is cool. Oh, door just opens. Fuck, I forgot to get a bike lock today. This feels kind of eerie. Ha, washing machine. Maybe that's a dryer too, I don't know. Washing machine. I don't know why there's two washing machines, but there's two washing machines and a bathtub. Dope. It looks like, yes, there's washing detergent too. Perfect. I think I need to end the vlog here because I need to wash the clothes that I'm currently wearing and I can't vlog if I'm not wearing clothes, so. This is an aspect of traveling that is super easy to overlook. You think about the places you wanna go, the cost, the transportation, but it's easy to forget about keeping your laundry clean. Then you end up in a situation where you got no clean socks and you're just like, well, fuck. Um, I'm just gonna put this in there with them. Yeah. The rash underneath my arm is going away. Whatever that fucking plant was, it's fucking vicious. I barely touched it, it fucking. I typically start these videos by saying good morning, but today is not a good morning because all of my clothes are soaking wet. The washing machine that I got this place to use doesn't work. The drum doesn't spin, so it just fills up with water. And when it's done, all of your clothes are just sopping wet. I put them in the dryer this morning. Hopefully they would be dry, but the power went out. So now all of my clothes are literally dripping with water and I need to check out in 15 minutes. The entire apartment has lost power. We're not in Ukraine, we're in fucking Germany. I need to remember this experience next time so I don't take all of my clothes and risk not having anything to wear. So for the first and possibly last time, you guys get to see me wear shorts because these are less uncomfortable to wear than wet jeans. And as a fun little added bonus, because the washing machine didn't work, my clothes aren't actually clean. They basically just sat in a pool of water. Oh, and that means the bike batteries aren't fully charged either. What this means is that I don't think we'll be able to do a lot of riding today because if I stuff these clothes in my bag and then just go on a ride, I will grow mildew on everything. We need to let the clothes air dry. We can't let them air dry here because we need to check out, but we need to let them air dry somewhere. So yeah, I'm in a poor mood. I booked this place specifically because of the washing machine and now I'm checking out with not only clothes that are still dirty, but they're wet. The bike batteries are not fully charged and we need to spend today letting the clothes air dry rather than ride. <sighs> oh, we might not even get that because it's raining. <sighs> oh God, it's actually funny just how bad this is turning out. 
Oh. It is raining right now, so we need to go find shelter. God damn it. Oh, I do not like riding this bike without wearing jeans. My legs feel very exposed. This is actually my first time riding the bike with shorts. Get some uh, zero sugar river cola and some of their chicken sausage pizza. This stuff is actually really good. It does seem like the rain has stopped, at least temporarily. <clears throat> Nope, I take it back. It's starting to rain again. I do not want to ride in the rain, but I don't think we have a lot of choices. I think I might've found some kind of shelter. I don't know why my brakes are still squeaking. It's annoying. Okay, yes, we're safe from the rain. So if I take my clothes out of my bag to dry, they end up just getting more wet because of the rain. And if I leave them in my bag, they just grow mildew. Fun. Today in Erfstadt, there's a good chance of scattered rain from now until tomorrow at about 6 a.m. So it's gonna rain all day. Fuck it, we will ride for a couple of hours and see if we can't outrun the rain. If we can, we set the clothes out to dry. If we can't, we find another place to sleep. On access road, in 120 feet, turn left and continue on access road. Okay, hold up. What we're about to do is definitely stealing. But I see plants. I don't know what kind of plants they are, but I want one. Oh, I think they're peaches. Oh, cool. They're not quite ripe yet, but they're really good. Oh shit, I hope none of these plants are the pokey plants that poison you, like the one I got earlier. I'm not wearing jeans to protect me. None of them are pokey so far. Oh, I guess that's the end of the road. Um, let's go up here. Come on, bike, you can do it. There you go. Easy peasy. God damn it. The camera holder is not waterproof. This tree won't give us shelter for long. We need to find like an actual roof. There is literally nothing fucking out here. Okay, well it stopped pretty much just as fast as it started. I do really want to avoid getting this camera container wet. Where can I find shelter? Hey, this looks like a drier spot. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, Google says it's gonna be raining like this all day. This is some of my favorite weather, aside from the fact that I'm getting wet. Like if it was gloomy like this without the rain, I would love it. My phone is wet, and so it's just like spazzing out because droplets of water are causing it to think that I'm touching it. Fucking hell, stop. She, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit.
arrived. Yep, I'm calling it a day. My camera's not waterproof, my clothes are soaking wet. I'm just checking into a hotel. I made a reservation. Um, I'm not sure if it's too early for- You just booked it, yeah? Just, yeah, like like five yes. minutes ago, yes. Yes, I did yes. it. Yeah, um, I'm riding my bike and it's a little bit, yes. it's a little bit wet outside. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, only for one night? Yes. Without breakfast? Oh wow, it's really coming down. I got here just in time. I got here just in time. My sleeping bag is cooked, but I got here just in time. Yeah, I got my camera in my pocket, so it's safe. I closed this door so we can go out from here. Good to know, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, room four. Oh, we can use a bench. The GPS signal is weak. Directions might be delayed. <sighs> we spent almost $100 for this room. Biggest priority at the moment is getting my clothes out of here and letting them dry. I have so much shit in my bag. Uh, yeah, they're hot and wet. I haven't even cooled down from the dryer yet. Holy shit, this place actually uses Starlink for their Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi password is Sophie2009. I really hope that doesn't mean that they set the Wi-Fi up in 2009.